I'm Alistair, this is my restaurant, Eat at Whalers, and we're in Encounter Bay on the lovely Ferry of Peninsula. On the seafront, we have a fishery over on Palm Marsh Island that we get our mullet away and our Kurong mullet from. I think we're just actually very spoiled living down here, having access to all this great food. Local wines are really good quality. Today I'm going to be using the Brick Kiln Shiraz. I love the really big fruit flavours in it. Clove and cinnamon and those sort of back notes. So that's what I'm going to try and put into my dish today. Kurong Mulloway with pancetta, kifta potatoes and red wine butter. So I've got Kurong Mulloway fillet. It's a slightly oily fish, which a lot of people find delicious. Scoring the fish, cut through the skin very lightly so as you're not going too deep into the fillet. Season that up with box salt and black pepper. Now I take the Kifla potatoes and I've chosen them because they're an earthy potato. They're also locally grown. Top up some flat pancetta, cured pork belly essentially. I'm going to use that to make little crispy lardons. Getting as much of the oils out of it as possible and getting a nice crispy result. Add the kipper potatoes. Let's get started on that red wine butter. Now I'm going to use some of the brick kiln Shiraz as my base wine and into that I'm going to add aromatics. I'm going to put some star anise, I'm going to put some cloves and I'm going to put a cinnamon stick. And then I'm going to mount that up with unsalted butter. Now mounting up the butter means to add small blocks of butter and move them around until they dissolve without separating the butter. Once I've reached the consistency I want, set that aside in a warm place and I'm going to now cook my Kuro Malawe. Skin side down in the pan and sizzle away and let the oils come out of the fish. And I'm leaving them on the skin side until they tell me they're ready to be turned. Wiggle the pan, and as soon as they come free, I'll turn them over and cook them for about another minute, minute and a half. They don't take a lot of cooking. Okay, time to plate it up. So we put some blanched asparagus on the plate. On top of that, we're putting our kifla potatoes that have been cooked with those bacon lardons. Take our nice crisp skin mull away and we place that on top. A little bit of the infused butter sauce. Voila, there we have it. By adding a sauce that is friendly to the red wine and to the fish, I think we've made the perfect marriage. 